Okay, so... As usual, me and Maddie don't know what's happening. But that is probably our fault. Ah. That... I am going to make you guys so much sexier. I mean, is that possible? No. Nah. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Well, I'll Because take this it. is something that's really exciting. Mm. Just for the record, if I won't take it. You're not going to take, take it? You can take it. You want to take it? I mean, you Good already, you you're already it. dressed for it today. <laughs> you are ready to go because there was something that we fell in love with, right? Yeah. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But I just want you guys just to see because Carrie and Tommy are playing the five-second game, right? They are, they are. Let's see if you guys can count to eight seconds. Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Set. Go. Stop. How'd you go? Uh, it's really hard to tell because our five-second timer is 11 <laughs> seconds with a bit of sound either side. But I'd say you're pre- pretty, close. pretty close. That's all it takes for you guys to be the hottest guys in town because there is something that is coming and I've entered you guys. I don't remember being entered. Into the toughest eight-second sport around and that is professional bull riding. Yeah! Right. Yay. Interesting. Are you excited? Because you were so excited with Yellowstone. Remember, you came obsessed yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, And I wanted to be like a buckle bunny, not like the actual buckle bunnies, but just like walk around in the outfits, kind of like Beyonce has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought that would be exciting. We get to go to a rodeo. You've never been. I've been to a few. It's really no, I've been, exciting. I've been, to, uh, I've been to them growing up in Gladstone. Yes. Oh, so this wouldn't be your but first rodeo? <laughs> <laughs> would this but, be your um, first rodeo? Yes. But, uh... <laughs> mm-hmm. Throwing your leg over the beast yes. is a whole different kettle of well, fish. Well, you know what they say, save a horse, ride a cowboy. cowboy. And after, woo, your wives are going to be like, oh, my God, cowboy. Uh, and, How are you feeling? And going back on the, oh, look, I I, I, I need to speak to my wife uh-huh. about that and yeah, check, no, check my life insurance. It does, it I just want to bring up. Like, uh-huh. it's more of your thing. <laughs> You know, the Yellowstone, where are you? Your RMs, <laughs> well, here, Tiger. Here's the, here's the thing too, you right? You want to support him as well? Yeah. I entered you both. Mm. She brings up Yellowstone. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you haven't watched Yellow. you've watched bits of I'm Yellowstone. Of. Don't talk about that part. Well, Jimmy, right, yeah. is the young guy yeah. who seeks fame b- to become a bull rider. Yeah. Yeah. And uh-huh. he goes and he does it, Yes. but he has a huge accident and becomes a cripple. That's, no, yeah. just for a short period of time, and then he's back on the bull. But I need to tell you about that. What threw him off? Tell everyone, because he was brilliant the first time. He held on, had no experience. He nailed it. But then what happened the second time? He got distracted by a lady walking past, and he didn't focus. And you guys won't have those issues. I'll put little blinkers on you. But just to give you a little bit more information is someone who... She's never been more excited to put us in our near death. I just think oh, you guys would be great at it. Fat. Thanks. I Coming up next, someone to inspire you is a professional bull rider. He's going to be competing very soon here in Brisbane. We'll, we'll be going against him? I didn't think of it like that. Mm. Yeah, your competitor. Or he might be in a different category because he's, he's pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Lane Mellors and he's coming up next. All right, stand by. Uh, Abby leads us to our death next. Hold on tight because it's going to be wilder than any this is exciting. I've just entered you guys into a professional bull riding event. It's coming up in Caboolture, and I am so excited. Be, you guys being cowboys. Mm. But I thought, why don't we speak to someone who is a professional uh, bull rider? And us that is me. Being... Did she say us being cowboys? Yeah, because we're going to end up on Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you guys want to do in your personal life is fine with me. Professional bull rider, Lane Mellors, good morning. Hello. So you're a professional bull rider. At what age did you start? I started riding. I started riding calves at ten years old, and um, now twenty five. So fifteen years been riding. Yeah, young and bouncers. Uh, exactly. So can yeah. they ride it? Like, how big are the the calves that you said? Like, that's probably too big for the boy. Like, too small for the boys. Oh yeah, they're pr- probably only one hundred and fifty kilo. But I was only about twenty five kilo when I was getting on them. So yeah, yeah. Not, not pretty big at the time. <laughs> so you say eight seconds, and as we just saw, it feels like such a quick time. Mm. Does everything slow down when you're on that bull because of how hectic it can be? Oh, more balls you get on, it does slow down and, you know, you're used to it and whatnot, but uh, your life can snap in one second, if you know what I mean. Yeah. No, we know what you mean, (laughs) Wayne. There's not much explanation, brother. Hey, there's a very angry animal Uh, that knows you potentially may eat it one day. Jump on its back for a little bit of fun. I hate farm boys. They're so honest. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Lane, what is the secret with it? Is it in the thighs? Is it gripping it? Is it with the movement? What do you reckon makes a good professional bull rider? 
Oh, just mental control, really. Just being able to slow it down in your head and, uh, you know, not getting nervous about this. You might might potentially die. um, Okay, well, Lane, Lane, we spoke about this. Hey, um, (laughs) see, I just want to say for the record, too, you were talking about me with my RMs and everything. I'm a concrete cowboy, Uh, right? What does that mean? I'm from the city and I wear RMs and listen to country music. There is. I've never yeah. grown up on a farm. Mm. Lane, what do you call those guys anything. that just come in from the city and just go straight to a rodeo? Uh, depends how, how much you dress up, but we would call Rui's. Rui? Yeah, you know how a kangaroo jumps in front of a car and it's a bit of a pain in the butt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Okay, yeah. just for other things. Is there a bit of like, do you have other events there at the professional bull riding? Just wondering. We could uh, enter in the line dancing if you really don't feel comfortable with this. Well, they have a mullet competition. I don't know if you has got a mullet, but mm-hmm. my son does. Um, yeah. Well, bring him on down. <laughs> what about for n- next week? How do you reckon they'll go if they train this week and it's on next week? Oh yeah, good as buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's not your spine, Lane. <laughs> <laughs> like he cares. Don't worry, about, don't worry about my spine. I've spine. I've broken it three times. <gasps> exactly, Lane. We had to hold back. Remember, I was like, make it fun. You cannot enter us in a bull riding competition with two weeks' notice. Best way to go into it. Right. Yeah, you've, had, oh, you've been riding them for 15 years, <laughs> and now we get 14 days. Yeah, but did you break your spine on the first go? No, no, no. It a was time. a calf! <laughs> <laughs> Liam, can I ask a question? What would you say is more dangerous, being on the bull or being one of the um, very, very brave rodeo clowns? Oh, definitely being a, you're the radio clown or bullfighter, we call them. Um, yeah. they they got to fight, you know, 150 bulls a night. We only got to get on ah, probably two. And that so, is why I didn't enter you for that stuff. Oh, thank you. You're okay. <laughs> uh, at, least, at least if you are uh, the bullfighter, you can you can run away as soon as you choose. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, have we asked our insurers? No, nah, that's why we're having issues with that, but that's just, you oh, know. Well, at least there's someone who's got some concern. Oh, now you feel a little bit better. Hey, hey, just yes. don't hey, worry. I, feel, I, I, I have a practice pen at my place, and we have full insurance. You, you're welcome to come up. See? Where is your place? In Rockhampton. But, uh. <laughs> exactly. Uh, if we leave now, guys, uh, we yeah, might get there uh, by 5 o'clock this afternoon. This one goes to the Gold Coast and eats at a Japanese five-star restaurant. We go to Rockhampton and break our backs. Yeah, because I wanted you to be like, you know, hot cowboys. <laughs> hot. I tell you what. <laughs> I can't speak for Stav. I will entertain this idea. That's my boy. Just entertain it. That's all I want. <laughs> but I tell you, at yeah. the end of it, yeah. we are allowed to enter you in something. Oh. Sure, go for it. Without any questions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. He didn't expect me to say yes to that. Yeah, oh, you Because just, he fully knows like... you're going to back out of it later. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, I guess. Well, I mean, I've got to ask my wife. I don't know about you. Uh, I'll but ask she, your wife too. <laughs> she does stand to get quite rich if I'm not here. <laughs> she entered you, so, to be fair. She yeah. gave me a call and said, hey, can you? So I'm pretty confident she might just flick through that life insurance policy and go, yeah, babe, be well, great for you. Lane's actually working on the farms. He's got to go, don't you? Yeah, he's got to go. Uh, no, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't want to. Hey, do you know? Um, do you know the Acton Super Beef uh, family? They're in Rockhampton Lane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my last name's Acton, and he's trying to find how he um, can be connected to him. And it is true. I have. I, I don't know if I'm related to them, but I'm really trying to get in on their wealth. Mm. So uh, maybe I will come up to Rocky and try and find out what my family connection is to them. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And we'll see you at the Caboolture show. Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Caboolture in, uh, next weekend, so that's the last. Yeah, next Friday we're going to go. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Thank you. We'll see you there, Lane. No worries. Bye. Well, watch this space next Friday, hey? It wasn't a no. Mm-hmm. And if the production guy can start to build the um, jingles for the new show, he's only got two weeks. Oh, I already got that started. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, can what? we hear it? Yeah. Yeah. What, what are the names? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's just, I'm just, I sent a contract to Chris Hemsworth. I haven't heard back. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot. I mean, that's uh, who I have to replace you yeah, with, you yeah, know? Yeah. We, two of us is one Hemsworth. Oh, uh, yeah. And he's not even going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Stav and I have been listening to you talk repeatedly mm. about how you want to be a bull rider. And we were yeah. like, Matt, <laughs> we want to make this happen for you, we right? We want to make your dreams come true. So we have entered you. See how this works? How much fun it is. It's good. Yeah, we're like, it's not our idea. 
Yeah. It's your idea. It is to put my life on the line. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to be a bull rider. Girls are just going to be like, oh, maybe you're so brave, aren't they? They are. Not helpful as a married man. If you guys could have done this pre- You still don't want people admir- admiration? They're not going to say we want to be with you. They're just going to say you're so brave. Isn't what do you think it was leading to? Because w- women will say you're so brave and your wife will go, you're an idiot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But exactly. after she'll be like, hot. As he's sponge bathing him. Mm, yeah. 13, 10, 60, what's your bull story? Because Manny's going to be a professional bull rider for eight seconds only. Angela. What if I last longer, though? I, I think it's just eight seconds. That's I think all that's you it. need to get to. Yeah. Ne- yeah. Never let go. <laughs> <laughs> I think they get you off at that point. The bull can't. Bull can't. Come on, bro. <laughs> Give me a break. There you go. Stay on longer than eight. They get you off. Angela in Ormo, you've got a bull riding story? Yes, hello. Hey. I, um, I grew up on a farm, uh-huh. 200 head of cattle, and we were mustering them. And my dad said, oh, watch out for the wild one. And he cleared the six-foot fence and put me through a shed. And his horns wrapped around both sides of my waist. Ow. So you didn't get stabbed, luckily. Oh. No, it grazes both sides. Mm. Wow. But, yeah, I've been put up fences a number of times by bulls. Is it true that if you run, they run after you? It's true that the brighter colour you wear, they'll run faster after Right, okay. Mm. Angela, I don't know if you can repeat it, but we were speaking to the cowboy yesterday and he said that they kind of have a word for those mm, token people that come in from the city and dress as cowboys and pretend to be. Do you have a name for them that you could repeat? Mm-hmm. Not on air, no. Yeah, no, okay. okay. <laughs> I want to know what they this is. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so right. Fine. Oh, Ash, ask oh. her on air, off air. We'll find yeah, out so, yeah, yeah, tell them. Yeah. Chanel in Cabo, uh, you used to ride bulls? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, how exciting. How long did you train yeah. for? Um, so I actually, girls weren't allowed to ride bulls. So I actually changed my name to Shane in this one comp because they said girls weren't allowed to do it. And I actually won the buckle. So, oh, um, <laughs> you're a revolutionary. Huh? Yeah. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, so I actually have a buckle, but um, I actually, the boys did get me back and they put me in a thing called death grip and I did get hung up and I did break some ribs. Okay. So, um, but in saying that, I went to an awesome bull riding school in Kingaroy. His name's Tim Kelly and they would be the best place for you guys to go and um, ride some bulls. So they go by level. So yeah. that would be the best place for you guys. That's so not just bad. Checking, you're encouraging that someone learns how to do it before they do it, right? It's more like, as I said, they were the only people that would actually get me on a bull because yeah. it was just sort of so like, no, girls can't do it. And Tim Kelly was amazing and he was, he just saw me as someone who really wanted to give it a go. And yeah, it's sort of like, it's just more for fun, experience and to to get a good glimpse of it before you guys go into an actual arena. Okay. So is it mm-hmm. like, in all honesty, is it possible yep. if you're giving someone a bit of a crash course, like straight away of like, this is what to do. And it's a karma ball <laughs> that y- you could do it. Yeah. There's no calm balls when you come to an arena. They're, they're, mm. These balls are like literally meant to buck mm. um, because of the, the rope that's around it. Mm. So it's kind of like you don't get to choose your bull. Okay. The bull, bull you just chooses. get out there um, and you just ride. Right. What about the, is the danger falling off and landing bad or is it falling off and having them stomp you? Either, either way, it's just, it's if you don't get out of there, like you literally, like once you come off, mm. you just run. You, run, you and just you're go a fast through runner. your life and run. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, the people that are doing the rodeos, are amazing and they would look after you anyway. But yeah. if you guys want to have a go, um, just just do it. see Timbo. Mm. All right. <clears throat> so um, no one's calling saying that they know any bulls that are good blokes, unfortunately, no. which is what I was keen to know. Well, maybe Jen from Marsden has that sort of story. Jen, your husband has done this. Uh, yeah, so he used to work in a pub and my cousin was in there drinking one day and they just said, he said we should go in the Kyogle bull ride. And he just went, yeah, okay, no worries. So paid their entry fee and they did it. And he obviously had to look the part, so he borrowed a heap of gear from everybody. Mm. And then didn't quite make it out of the chute and then couldn't walk for about two weeks after that because every muscle was pulled. Right. And then when he was working at the pub, somebody left their 
championship bull riding jacket behind that they had won <laughs> and he never found the owner so now he likes to wear it and tell people that he officially won that in the bull ride. As if you wouldn't. Can Matty borrow yeah. it? <laughs> so, his daughter actually has it now oh. but every time we go to a rodeo he likes to tell everybody oh, and he yeah. starts it with, did I tell you about the time I rode the bull? <laughs> well, so you have a story for life. There you go. None of the dead people called, so no. that was that was good and reassuring. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, everybody. Yeah! I've just entered you guys into a professional bull riding event in Caboolture. Stab Abby and Matt. Welcome bull riding on B105. Save a horse, ride a boy. <laughs> Eight seconds. Eight seconds is all you need, Manny, to hold on to that bull as you ride it for the very first time mm. tomorrow here at Caboolture. And one thing I've learnt this morning, we're having this conversation, all of it, but you I was under the impression that it'd be like you'll impress the ladies, like Esther will be really impressed. But you're not doing it for the ladies. You just want other guys to look at you and go, "Man, he's a mad bloke. He's a yeah. mad dog. He is, is that a, it? He is a mad cow." Exactly. So is that what you want of in course, life? If, if, you asked me to put together a pros and cons list, and yeah. I said the biggest pro of this is. I'm gonna, fellas are gonna come up to me everywhere I go, and they're gonna be like, "You are a mad cow," and that's important to guys. Dead set. It's dead everything. Yeah. That's yeah. all you want. Yeah. It's the, the 99%. There is no girl that I... Ashley, you're such a mad girl. Is that important to you? I don't want to be no mad. No one wants to be the mad girl. Every time I'm like, no way, I'm reformed. That's the version of a party girl. I don't want to be that. I'm not no, that. It's just, but it's not just about partying. It's just... No. You know, yeah, but we don't want to be the... Up. We don't want to be the risk tanker. We'll do that and mm. then lie to our friends and say we didn't do it. Mm. Um... You'll brag. It's weird, isn't it? You'll brag about it. We'll be going, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. Um, I'm actually getting quite nervous about it. I woke up at 10 to 3 this morning. Mm. A bit of a cold sweat. And I was just thinking, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Until, Until your spine did. cracks. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, it doesn't happen that, that often. Do you like the, the pros and cons that um, uh, producer Jace has written? Yeah, they're pretty much what I'd written down. Um, are they? Pros? So, well, let me go through the list here. Pros are, of course, um, people are going to be like, if I survive, they're yeah. like, what a mad cow you are. Mm-hmm. Right? Cons? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll give you a few more pros. I oh, think okay. I want to lead with a bit of, yeah, sure, sure. With a bit of positivity, positivity here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think another one of the pros is sponsorship deals <laughs> will roll in. Yeah. You yeah. Know? By like, brands that you like. Well, Correct. considering yeah. you're wearing, you always wear like RM Williams, you finally want to get them for free. That's exactly right. That's true. So that'll be an upside. Okay. Um, another pro, they are shooting Yellowstone again. Yeah. yeah. Good eye up here. Do mm. your American accent for me. It'd be a non-speaking role. No, it'd be like this is uh, this is an Ozzy. That, He's come from yes. Down Under. Yes. And he's going to be the uh, rancher. That's right. Mm. G'day, you fellas. Put a shrimp on that Barbie and let's round up these cattle. I often think that, especially like if someone's accent isn't that great, it's not that hard in the script to go, moot from Australia, you know, as yeah. opposed to, yeah, anyway. Um, the cons though, let's take a look at those. Yeah. Uh, death. Um, death. Uh, not being alive. Yeah. Um, and what, death. Can I ask a question? What do you think's better? Death. Or horrible physical Don't injury. Ask, that you that's never a horrible thing from. to ask. It's We're not doing question. hypotheticals. No, it's not. Let's not go down that. Good. Mm. Don't do that. We're not going down that. Get, get to sleep. Road. Yeah. Get to see our dads. <sighs> that is correct. Mm. What that are you is doing, correct. stuff? Um, pros and cons. You got to be. You can't just do pros, pros, pros. Uh, interesting enough. A pro and con is Esther gets her life insurance. Ah, yes. Because I'm dead, but mm. she's rich. Mm. Have you checked that it's not? Because um, you know some of them. In dangerous oh, activities. Yeah. You did that to yourself. They're Correct. void. Yeah. Like, you know, when you go travel insurance and they're like, mm. oh, really? You rode on a scooter in Bali. Uh, uh, uh. You went insured. It will be void. So yeah. it is going to be a very expensive mm. exercise for Southern Cross or Why would it be void then? Because you're not, uh, it doesn't have bull riding on it. Bucked off a bull yeah. is a, a, considered an act of God. Yeah. What? <laughs> Correct. Correct. So yeah. I had to even ride on my life insurance that I ride mountain bikes. Yeah, right. You've got to say if you ride motorbikes. Yeah, okay. So, so we'll have to put you on a bike. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, another pro is early retirement. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. Um, if I survive, a pro is that I reckon I've got a lot of points here to be like, guys, I think I don't have to do oh. much work. How many points do I have then? 
you're free to use them in the way you want. Like, mm, I'd love to go, but mm. I rode the ball. Rode the ball. And I've mm. got to go see the physio. Yeah. You know? That's good. Can I do it too? What points do you want? For what? For what? Yeah. It's, uh, I, it's normally me in his position. Mm. Mm. You don't even need to use them. It's just nice having them. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. Uh, what about for you guys? Because at the end of the day, that's one third of the team yeah, here. Yeah, true. What are the pros and cons from your perspective? Mm. Uh, you have fun. Uh-huh. You that's feel a, a pro. like real alive and manly. Yeah. And you get to meet real life cowboys. Sorry, that's my. That's my. Oh, it's both. Yeah. Sorry. That's, that's okay. A cowboy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, but cons. You get to talk about it all the time, yeah. and we have to be like, oh, yes, you're so mad. Or if you die, we've got to train cool. another guy to push the buttons. Yep. It's a nightmare. Yep. Your ratings yeah. go down. Ratings plummet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely plummet. We'll never recover. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then in the end, we'd lose our jobs. So yeah. I don't Jace can do push it. the buttons. And in fact, he's the one that did your registration, so that's probably... Oh, it's a long play for It's a long play for Jace, yeah. yeah. Finally, yeah. I'll get my chance. <laughs> There we go. Uh, all right. Well, Friday yep. uh, tomorrow, is tomorrow. when we ride. Ooh, someone's not sleeping tonight. We are ride at <laughs> sunset tomorrow. <laughs> all right. To get you prepared, Matthew, for your inaugural. Uh, Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. First annual. Annual. Uh, yeah. uh, bull ride. I uh, did a little bit of research and I found one of the best rodeo riders in the world uh, you might remember him from his appearance on the Today Show. A vegan and a vegetarian are jumping off a cliff to see who will hit the bottom first. Who wins? I don't know. Who wins? Society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember him. He was everywhere. He yeah. went viral yeah. around the world. Well, he's 11 year- years old and he's Australia's youngest cowboy and he joins us now. Byron Kirk, good morning. Good morning, mate. <laughs> Now, I've seen videos of you, and you've been riding bulls uh, since the age of five, and I like your preparation before. When you're sitting on the bull, you, like, hype yourself up for it. Now, Matty over there has never ridden a bull before. It's going to be his first time. Do you have any advice for him as soon as he gets on that bull? Well, when you're in the shoot, mate, um, you really want to get your hand as tight as you can in that bull rope. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, right. So, so really like, hold so on do, tight. Like, so like that, cutting the blood off. Right. So what? So your feet, where you put your feet, is that not as important as just making sure you've got hold of the, the rope? Well, you normally turn your toes out to get better grip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Good to yeah. know. Didn't but know that one. I, you're 11, and, and I watched some clips of you. We went in a bit of a deep dive of you riding um, bulls, and you started very, very young. Are you scared at all when you do it? Um, it depends on a lot of things. If the ball plays up in the chute. Oh. Yeah. And what, well, how does a ball play up in the chute? If it's moving around and or it lays down. Yeah, right. Oh, what okay. do you mean? Like, oh, so it could just flop down and I could roll under it? Yeah, mm. pretty much. You guys are very different people, though. I've seen photos of Byron. Byron's doing weights that are out of your league. He's also <laughs> doing backflips off horses in water. It's You know what I mean? Yeah. Byron yeah. also has the uh, advantage of the uh, rodeo clowns can actually pluck him off the ball <laughs> yeah. if, it, if it looks like it's going that's, to. That's true. To, yeah. yeah. Um, Byron, but that's because Byron hasn't yet hit drinking age. And, you know, <laughs> once, once beer finds you, Byron, things Byron, change a lot. Yeah, okay. Byron, what's your... Um, what are your sort of things that you have to do on the farm? Do you have a routine in the morning before you go to school? Um, every day I run 2.4 k's. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. in the morning. And then what do you do after that? Um, I have a shower and get ready for school. Uh-huh. And then in the afternoons I have training. I've heard, Byron, too, that you know the Cowboy's Prayer off by heart. I've never heard of the Cowboy's Prayer, but it seems appropriate that we pray at this stage. Could you recite a bit of it for us? I can't remember it right now. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, dear Lord God, save my spine. <laughs> If the ball falls... Let me be fine. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. They them. Amen. Do you love being a cowboy, Byron? Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. And this is a big thing that Maddie wants respect from other men, like going, oh, wow, you're like a mad dog. You're so like... Is, is that a good feeling when everyone goes, wow? Well, at this stage, mate, you're not going to get it, but... Um... <laughs> What do you mean, Byron? I'm not going to get any respect yet. Well, how many how many bulls you got to ride to get respect? Um, it's not about how many bulls you ride. It's about the respect you give to other people, oh. especially just the people who help you out in the shoots. 
Yeah. Oh, don't you worry about that, Byron. Those people He's are going to give them. I'm going to give them the most amount of kindness I've ever given anyone in mind. I'm going to like them more than my own children, Byron. Because they keep me yeah. alive, buddy. <laughs> Byron, do you ever have a name of what you call those people that are just like those one time riders that come from the city and they think they know country life, but they just, you know, have borrowed the outfit for the first time? Um, not a cowboy. No, yeah, so there you go. I think Byron's too respectful for what you're trying to paint me out yeah, to be here. That's true. So just yeah. back up, girlfriend. <laughs> wow. He's Ooh. even trying to be a mad dog in front of him. <laughs> uh, look, Byron, uh, buddy, it's pretty it's a it's a crazy sport and you know what I've said to the guys, they signed me up without even telling me. Mm. Um and I've I I haven't even ridden a horse before, so I'm gonna admit I'm I'm quite I'm quite scared and nervous about what to do. On the day you can't really do that, you can't really mess around in the shoot. You mm. have to, because I'm pretty sure in the PBR you have 30 seconds in the shoot. Uh huh. And oh. then you've got to be out there in the arena. Okay. Right, right, so you've only okay. got 30 seconds to pee. And your when pants. you get off, yeah. run. When run. you get off, run. 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 Okay, run. 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 Up, so get up and run. Do run. I tell them when to open the shoot, or is it sort of a surprise? Well, you nod your head, mate. Yeah. You know, okay. Head. It's not like the Tower of Terror at Dreamworld. But if you take too long, they'll open it. Oh. Oh, if you don't nod, they'll open it anyway. Yeah, they'll be like, right. nod, nod, nod. You had yeah. your chance. Off you, okay. off you go. Yeah. Hey, you. Uh, we just played the joke that you said for the Today Show. Do you have any more jokes that you could tell us? I have one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go for it, Byron. What noise does a horny frog make? I don't know. What noise does a horny frog make? Love it. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Ash, our producer, doesn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put you on hold, and if you could e- explain, explain the birds her. and bees, you know, as a farmer, <laughs> <laughs> to Ash, our producer. <laughs> uh, well, Byron, uh, great to talk to you, mate. You're a little champion, and hopefully, I do you proud on the ball tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I just entered you guys into a professional bull riding event in Caboolture. Stab Abby and Matt. Bucking bull riding on B105. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> yes, it all came down to Friday afternoon out at Caboolture riding the 800 kilo Pied Piper. We're all kitted up in cowboy gear. You looked the part, I just watched the video. Thank you, mate. Mm. As did you. Mm. Ari had hooked us up, so we. Imagine if we had have gone out there yeah. with all of the cowboys out there dressed in our usual clothes. Yeah, no. It would have looked weird. Yes. Um, Abby, of course, started this. Yes, she did. She yeah. signed us both up to do the PBR. Yes, and I famously always said it's the one thing I will not do. Um, and yeah, I, yeah, she signed me up anyway. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Stab will not want to do this. I might have uh, put him down. Mm. Um, it was an experience, mm. I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Was I scared? No. Oh, you can hear that you were. Was I petrified? Ah. Yes. <laughs> um, it was, yeah. I, I, um, I, I'm finding it hard to put into words, mm-hmm. the experience. Um, before we get to the bull ride itself, mm-hmm. there was a lot to go through at the start. There was. Um, and that was, you know, putting on the safety equipment. Bit of a briefing. Yeah, meeting yeah. everyone. Yeah. Um, Where I've always found, and any time I've done any of these sort of challenges, you might be the same. When you get to that briefing area, that's when the Aussie sense of humour comes out. And they always like to tell you how many people have died doing this yes. or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Mm. They're like, oh, here's all the things, the bad things that could happen. Yeah. And you're like, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. Why well, have to say them out loud? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made me sign a waiver. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, whenever a waiver comes out, yeah, you're there's trouble. issues. Yeah. Um, here is the the pre the ride. The time has come. We are here at the PBR. We can smell the cows. We can see some cows. No, that's not the cows you can smell. <laughs> <No>. That <laughs> is me. That is me. How you feeling, buddy? I'm fine. Huh? I'm totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am sweaty. You yeah. know when you nervous sweat? Yeah. And it runs. You feel it like run down the inside of your rib cage, yes. like it. Blah, blah, blah. That's, yeah. Not really. <laughs> well, you haven't been nervous before I haven't then. been fearful enough. Yeah. All right, well, I believe the bull is here somewhere. Yeah, the there's, uh, Piper. there's one more step before that, though. You have to get geared up. So right, let's okay. get you dressed and ready to go. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. So this is all the protection you're having on your legs. So D- this is it. This is it, yeah. Dusty's going to get in oh. nice and um, Dusty, I think we might need a, we might need a bigger pair, Dusty. Yeah. Are they hard to run in, Dusty? Um, no. No? If they get ripped off and they're around your ankles, they are a trip hazard. <laughs> Next up, your vest. Your vest. Now, what's so, the vest designed to do? 
say it's not a bulletproof vest, but it's they a are. Yeah. Proof vest. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. But they are a Kevlar material. Protects so, your ribs. And yeah. Protects all your vitals instead of a you know horn like this. Okay. It's still gonna hurt. Yeah. No. It sounds like it would. Yeah. All right, you're going to glove him up, Dusty. So, Dusty, you're one of the up-and-coming superstars of the sport. Yeah, How many injuries have you had? You're 17. Uh, Give him a look at your teeth, Dusty. Did that happen on the ball, did it? Yeah, we'll say that. Mm, okay. okay. And final piece of equipment, bull rope. This is all you'll be holding on to. So you wrap it around your hand? Yeah. yeah. But what happens if you can't get your hand out when you want to get off the bull and it just... That's what we call a hang-up. A hang up. Yeah. So just stay there but run with the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to want this. And the helmet. Yep. Did you hear that I broke a mechanical ball yes. earlier this week? I did Ooh. see that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Was that impressive to you? <laughs> the answer to that question is bit. yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Oh, definitely. Sorry. Yeah. Why are you laughing, Abby? Because remember I said you'd look hot? <laughs> it does look warm. It. And now I just, yeah, no, sorry you're about that. Giddy, is that what it is? <laughs> you're all excited. Oh, Dusty, yeah, you're really no. jamming me in this thing, mate. Oh, yeah, that's on tight. <laughs> that's on tight, Dusty. That's good. Maddie's ready to roll. <laughs> you look like a cowboy. What you look like mean? a cowboy goalie. You look good. Suits you. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. No, I think I'm good to go. Um, I'm so <laughs> sufficiently nervous. Yeah. Well, can, yeah, I'm good. You're good. What do we do from here? Just the I think just get the ball and then The chaps are on. It's time to chuck a leg over and get this thing up. <laughs> if I had a dollar for the amount of times I've heard you say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's meet the ball. Hey, buddy. He's beautiful. Don't be fooled, hey. Like, this moment right now, this is where this bull knows he's got a job to do. Since he's just come up the run here, he's got his mate behind him. He's now eyeing the dirt out there Ooh. and he's going to put you into that dirt. Wow. Can because... we employ him at our work? Because we've got no one like that at our yeah. station. <laughs> but think of, think of a nightclub, two blokes <laughs> and they've just been kicked out. Ah. And you're You've the bouncer this, you know who's going to tell me. these guys it's time to go home. And uh, we've heard some information about the history of the Pied Piper. Yeah. Apparently he gets picked on by the other bulls, and that's why they chose him, with the similarity between you two. So. Yeah, so he's got a lot to prove. Yeah. It's really big. Some of them so you want to come down on eye level so you can actually... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Have a look. I don't know. What if he smells my fear? I'm not... Oh, uh, they will. will. They definitely will smell your fear. That, like, his... I think his head is, is, is bigger than my torso. Does he like you? Because you're patting him. He loves me. Do you, do you have your perfume? Can I spray some of that? Because <laughs> he might think I'm you. I think no, your, nice. your fearful perfume will outweigh anything that uh, Janelle wow. can take oh. out. Oh. All right, after um, a week and a half of intensive, intensive training and boot camp, we've all come down to this moment where Maddie is going to get onto the ball that is going to carry him to his fate. Right, can we just hurry up and get it over and done with? Do let's hurry? let's oh. just hurry, like... Yeah, get on. Treat it like every ride. Yeah. Hurry up, jump on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Nerves definitely jangling. Mm-hmm. Bull is big. Oh, that's one way to put it. <laughs> its hooves yeah. were bigger than my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could see the prints it was making because it was all sand underneath. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if that steps on my head... Mm-hmm. I had a helmet on, but the helmet that's, wasn't going to do anything. No, it's purely decoration. And it, it has a chin strap, so that's why it was so hard to spook. Yeah. It was like pushing on you. Yep. But they really don't wear that much protection when they do it. No. Mm. Um, one of the most frightening experiences of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can hear everyone there. They're pretty calm, everyone else. Well, they like, do it all the time. Um, you know? So you can hear Simon, who was talking me through it. Simon there is the guy who sort of runs it with mm. PBR. And all the other farmers like, you'll be right, mate. Yeah. You'll be right. <laughs> oh, no, no, you'll be right. Dusty, mm. who you can hear there, the young fella, uh, was missing a front tooth. Yeah. And I said, when, how old were you when you got, that got knocked out? He said, nine. Jules. He's now 17. Yeah. He's not going to bother until he's finished his career. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> to, to sort his Makes, teeth spend out. five grand, lose another one. Yeah. Hear the ride next. Stand by. <laughs> Alrighty, if you're just uh-huh. tuning in, we are geared up. We are got all the safety stuff out of the way, and Maddie is currently abreast of a bull in the cage. All right, mounted up. I am not going to lie; I was absolutely packing myself. Mm. I've never felt fear like that ever. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I really was unsure of if I wanted to go ahead with it. Yeah, right. I know I never said that. No, you didn't. Because I'm a moron <laughs> who doesn't want to get picked on. Yeah, right. But when the bull came out, mm. for me, I knew it was going to be full on and I knew how dangerous it was, mm. but it didn't really hit me until I saw the size of the beast. Always the way. Because I also thought deep down mm. on the day, I thought maybe you were going to bring out... Like a calf. A smaller, yeah, a smaller cow. No, I don't think they had any smaller cows. And that's what I thought was going to happen. I, I felt like I was in a bit of cat and mouse with you guys. Because mm. I thought, no, 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 I think they're having a bit of a go. Mm. I will play along with this. But then you brought out... The bull. A bull. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Maddie riding the Pied Piper, an 800 kilo bull for the first time. Can't watch. Love you. Can't watch. Oh, God. Love you, Maddie. Don't move, buddy. It's okay. Don't move. I'm okay. So I tickle oh. his back first, hey? Yeah, just let him know you're coming. I'm, I'm here. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, buddy. You're a good boy. Just going to rub your back. Yep, that's me. I think this is a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Oh, classic Coleman. I just think it's a bad idea. Right? Yeah. Drop your yep. feet down. See where this the right. holler is, where, yep. where your rope is. Put your feet there. Yep. Can you move over, Pied Piper, just a little bit, buddy? So just there with my feet up. Yep, you can yep. bring your feet further forward, a little bit yep. further forward. Yep. All right, I'm putting my yep. bum on you. My bum's on you. Oh, this heart rate. Yep. Oh, we should do that next time. Do you want to ask him to do it again when he gets on? <laughs> It just depends how he falls. Yeah, 100%. Yep. And if the bull stops him. We're going to Pied Piper. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. his kid's voice. You're okay. You're all right, mate. So at this point, I'm in the shoot. Mm-hmm. I'm on top of the bull. Yep. And it's rattling from side to side. Mm-hmm. There's not even much space between the guardrails. No space at all. And where you rest your feet on the rails, they say don't put your feet fully in there because if he bucks in the cage, they said it'll snap your feet. Yeah. And Rick, who owns the bull, mm. was holding on to the back of my shirt because he said to me, the other thing is if he kicks in there, he said, you're going to launch forward and there was a big metal bar across yeah. and he said, the top of your head is going to ram straight into that. Mm. So I was like, please don't let go of me. <laughs> yeah. I was talked through if you, if when you come off. Yeah, yeah. They're like, roll in the air. Don't hit the ground and then roll because oh. you'll wind yourself. Right. And possibly you've got you to be ready. The minute you're off, you've got to Rolling. roll away mm. also so you don't get stomped. Wow. So I'm sitting on it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even know where you two are at this point. Mm. How, Abby, far, how, how far away were you from me? Abby had left. She couldn't watch. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Her, I heard her there. This is a bad idea. <laughs> it was her, her idea. idea. Uh, we were only about five metres away, but we were behind you. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. It, it felt like there was a huge just dome over me. Yeah, right. Yeah. My heart was pumping. <laughs> I was sweating. sweating. Yeah. My mouth was dry. Fun time. And the bull kept looking back over its shoulder at me. Yeah, going, like who's this clown? St- yeah. 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 This is going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> they reckon... Yeah. As soon as they open the gate, he goes. That's when he goes. Yeah, he's trained to just go. Yeah, I had to say to them, "Open up." Mm. So they don't open the gate until the rider says go. Yeah. Here's what played out. Okay. He likes you. Yep. If we get drop, roll, then run. Drop, roll, run. <laughs> Slide right up to your road. Yep. Right up to your road. All yep. the way up. Keep going. Okay, yep, my nuts on my hand. There we go. Oh, now I want to do it. Have your feet. My nuts are right up in my body too, Stan. Don't you worry about that, mate. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> We've got you here, so you can you hold it. Yep. Okay. I want that one hand over there. Like that. Okay. Yep. No. Yeah. All right. All right. Keep looking down there, though, honey, when you go. Watch this right here. Don't take right. your eyes off of here. Yeah. No. This is like boxing me. I can't watch. I'm done. Did you not watch me? No, I didn't watch you. Sorry. Bye. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not... Yep, down. Hey, Rick, Rick. You're not going to crack that. He's ready to nod. No, no, no. Sorry, guys. We've he's, not... He's not, not the do box. it? He's no, 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 no. Hey, I want to open that f***ing gate. No way. Are you joking? You were handling. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thank 
Get me out. 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 <laughs> I got confidence that you can ride, yeah. but it's when you fall off that we're worried about. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. We don't have our protection athletes out there. We don't know you cowboys. <laughs> These boys will let you do anything, but Are you all right? sorry. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We don't have the right team out in the, the arena because what they said about hung up, that's legit. If you fall off the wrong side, you will not get off in. Oh, help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's not on it. Yeah, no, yeah. sorry. I thought you just want to have some fun, sit on him, have right. a little play. But... Did you have fun? No, that was actually really scary. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's, it's terrifying, it. right? Yeah, yeah, we can't open that gate because that's, that's go time for Pied Piper. Okay. Why does this never happen on any of my challenges? <laughs> <laughs> they opened the window with the plane. They didn't go, oh, no, we can't do that. Shut it up. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't want to, I'm not the party oh, creep here. You guys should have... No, 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 that's fine. It should have slipped me 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. oh, I can feel yeah. it shaking. The I was, yeah, I, don't know. I actually don't know whether I was going to be able to do that. Oh. Right, even I'm glad you pulled it because I think I was going to pull it too. Uh, yeah, I like you, man. <laughs> I just met you. And I want you to be around for a while. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, dramatic. Very dramatic. Uh, now, I didn't realise at this point, and producer Ash is into the studio. At this point, I thought I was still allowed to ride. Yeah, so bit of complication getting your waiver and all the details signed. We were back and forth for about the whole week, ever since Abby had this idea. Mm, yeah. And they finally told me on Thursday that you weren't actually going to be able to ride around on the bull. Yeah, because that would have been nice to know going out there. Uh, well, I just <laughs> wanted to see, you know, like how far we could take it. Maybe someone out there would just change their mind the when you were out there. Well, and I didn't know that either. Yeah, well, I thought you were going to be riding the ball. I, I'm glad. And like I said, I don't know. that Everything was moving so fast at the time, mm. and I was so scared. Mm. I feel bad for that. That no. I I had to tell them Dusty was there ready to open the gate. I had to say open it, and I don't know if I could have yelled open it mm. because right. I was so, I don't know. You were shaking like a, like a leaf. Like, yeah, I was really, mm. I'm sweating now feeling <laughs> it. Like sitting on top of that thing, I have so much respect for those guys who ride in those PBR yeah. competitions mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it is wild. Yeah. It is absolutely insane. Well, so turns out sometimes lawyers do good work. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. And I've never said this, yeah. but I love our lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> there is a video if you want to watch it. It's on Facebook. So stab Abby and Matt.